What's up? Got a Tucson. Need to uh, get out of this box, check it in, take it apart, clean it up, and then let's check it out. Let's get after it. Okay. Kind of hard to tell what's in there. I'm not even going to take a guess yet. It's a uh, tape. Uh, okay. So this this is this was a money trap. That's what this was. This is a TS three hundred color. And uh it's all been anodized. And you can see it's in 14C28N. So Tucson 300. It's got that wonderful ball clip. I love that. Yeah. What an oily mess. Wow. Who would have thunk it? Boswell Mokhtar. Did I mention the ball clip? Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So I think I overpaid on this one a little bit. I'll go over the money in the end. But uh, let's get it cleaned up real quick. And I'm going to run this action a few times. And then we'll get it taken apart. And uh, see what's going on in there. Other than the fact that there's, there's probably a quart of oil in there for me to wipe down and get rid of. This one was a oily, oily mess. Whew. Okay. Yeah, so the... Lots of anodizing there. The clip... The clip is done the same, but it's way more subtle. You can see that I'm pretty sure that if it's not anodized, there's some milling in here, but it's been polished out. All right, let's run that action. I mean, drop pretty good. Thumb flicks good. Dropping better just from working it. Try that spidey flick. Yeah, that's a natural. The blade seems really heavy on this. The action itself seems pretty good, but the blade seems really heavy. Yeah. All right, well, it's an oily mess. So let's get it apart. So, so, had a malfunction with my camera, completely took it apart, put it back together, and uh, is kind of where you find me now. And so I'm not going to take it apart again. Uh, there wasn't anything special going on in here. It was standard bearings with standard racetrack washers, um, these collars, this particular side acts as a stop for the lock bar, uh, over travel stop. Um, yeah, there, there wasn't anything in there except a lot of oil. It was very oily. So I cleaned it up. I re-looped it, put it all back together. And I, you tell me, but the, the action on this thing now is way better. So I don't know if it was just cleaning up the components or tuning this properly, getting this set right, but this thing drops shut now. 
the action runs wonderfully and the thumb flick is it flings same thing with the spidey flick so i you know couldn't be happier with the action on this knife up and down spidey flick or the thumb flick which i'm partial to the thumb flick i i just have more dexterity in my old beat up hands uh in my thumb than i do in this finger but i i can do it and you know certain knives are way easier for me this one's okay with a little thumb flick yeah a little wrist flick but yeah the actions to die for uh lock access uh it's scalloped and this side's lowered so it's got good access getting in here is really easy takes just a a, a reasonable amount of pressure to move that over we're at like 50 40 percent or so on the lockup here so nice lockup easy access um the pocket clip all right, here's a moment of truth. I actually only, because this is a ball, and I don't think it's going to run really good, these are shorts that I wear. So, not bad. So, I'm going to say that's a that's a one hand in and a one hand out uh, on my back pocket. Now, on a thick front pocket, let's see. Let's see if it's the same. I mean, it's a little more pressure, but honestly, I'm going to pass that pocket clip. It runs pretty darn good. And I will say that it's a bigger ball than normal. But if you look in here, the contact still seems like just the tiniest little spot. See it? Just tiny where it catches. But it's smooth enough, and the I think the anodizing on the scales make it smooth. So, I, you know, I'm going to say that passes. That goes in pretty easy. You could get that done one-handed, no worries. And for me, I have to say it passes because the back pocket where I carry it, it easily goes in and out of there. Yeah, so that's a pass. Uh, safety, let's check it. So that tip looks kind of close, but yeah, I can't get that. So we'll pass the tip. Where are we at here? So there's no backspacer at all. And looking in here, I think we're good until we get down here. That blade looks kind of close, but let's find out. So nothing, nothing. Yeah, right there, I pick up that blade. And right here, I mean, it's just mind-boggling, man. So right here, the blade is at the surface it's like right at the very top and so if this is in my pocket like this and for whatever reason i all right glitchy camera tonight but yeah so to wrap that up i mean this will cut you 100 percent. this is dangerous back here uh i'll call that a fail uh the grip on this knife is nice i like the grip it, it strong grip here uh, you can forward throw, you know, for whatever that is. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for any type of putting in any type of forward work. I wouldn't recommend it for that just because there's nothing here to keep you from coming up to here. And that's bad, no matter what the situation is. So I wouldn't recommend it for that. Uh, so I'm going to say... You know, it's got a good grip. If you if you come up into this finger choil area and you use this forward grip, there's this is sharp here, but it's only if you're in this grip. You'll... So overall, comfortable grip, um, easy to carry, availability. Um, this, I believe, is still running on eBay auction, so you can find this, whether it's in the plain version or this colored version. I paid $102 for it. I think this should righteously be around $90. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to cry too much. I mean, what am I, $10, $10 or more too high or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so it's out there. I, I'm going to say around $90. 14C28N TS300. Um, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching. 
Sorry for all the glitches.